Hi fans of high quality entertainment and food reviews. That's right, I'm doing a food review. Remember the good old days when I used to do food reviews and my channel used to be funny? Now, Subway, thank you Subway, they now have gluten-free bread because I have celiac disease and so I haven't been doing as many food reviews. And this, I guess, just came out recently. Now, I wanted, I, when I, in the past when I got subs, I would get a 12-inch sub. But because it's gluten-free bread, it only comes in 6 inches. But I want 12 inches. That's what she said. So I got the, and there's also, you still have to be careful because there's certain uh, meats that have gluten in them. So I had to check the nutrition fact thingy. And I got a Subway Club on gluten-free bread. I double toasted it. Well, I didn't. The guy at the Subway did. It came to, for this, $9.70. Kind of expensive. I think it's a dollar more for the bread. But even at eight seventy, it would be kind of expensive. You think it should be something like one dollar per inch. That sounds funny. Here we go. Enough of the sexual induendo jokes. And I also have a bonus little review at the end for a drink. Now, what I got on my sub, a Subway Club is turkey, roast beef, and ham, I believe. I got mozzarella cheese, double mozzarella cheese, green peppers, green olives, onions, and the sauce is uh, honey, honey mustard, I believe. So here it is. Now, so this is going to be more of a review of the bread, of the gluten-free bread, than the actual soap. But there it is. There it is. There's the roast beef on top, double toasted. But already it's kind of uh, soggy. But I believe uh, with gluten-free bread it, it gets that way quickly. And yeah, green peppers and whatever else I said. Here we go. Look at that onion. That is one of the best onions I've ever tasted in my life. Thank you for watching. No, it's not an onion review. It's a Subway gluten-free. I like to stretch things out to annoy some people watching. Here we go. Now here's, it, it tastes good. It tastes very good. Here's the gluten-free bread. Here it is there. Now, without getting too technical, this is how they make the gluten-free bread. They remove the gluten that's in the bread. To me, it, it kind of tastes just like regular bread, honestly. It tastes very good. Sometimes with gluten-free products, it ta they taste good or at least okay, but they're drier. But uh, my only complaint is that, like I said, the, the bread becomes, maybe it's with all just all of this, maybe it happens with the regular breads too. It's been a while since I've had a sum. Don't you hate it though when when all of the stuff wants to slide out of the bread? Get back in there. Ah, almost done. Look, an onion. That is the second best onion I've ever had in my life. 
Excuse me. I'm going to start showing more cleavage on my channel to get more views. There you go. Never talk with your mouth full of food. It's disgusting. I give that a 10 out of 10. And I just want to seriously thank Subway for finally getting gluten-free bread in. It's been uh, very frustrating for me, for me and I'm sure others being on a gluten-free diet. And uh, for instance, I went to Tim Hortons last week and I went up to the counter and I asked, do you have any gluten-free items? And, and the person just goes, no. <laughs> now on to the little mini review. I wanted to review, I guess there's a new Coke out that is half the calories and contains, I believe, uh, cane sugar or real sugar instead of the fructose glucose crap. And it probably is in my area, but I just didn't see it at the local store I went to. But I did see this vanilla Coke, and I, I don't believe I've ever had it. I've had, had cherry Coke in the past. So I'm going to try the uh, vanilla Coke. Here we go. Oh, I'm glad I'm wearing glasses. It's not wine. <laughs> Snorting Coke. That's fizzy. Get my palais ready, whatever palais means. Here we go. And everything's double. Uh, calories 150, sodium 35 milligrams, total carb 42 grams, 42 grams of sugar. Whoa, I hardly ever drink Coke anymore. I'm going to burp. I haven't even had any Coke yet. So apologies. Turn, turn down the volume. I'm going to burp. Never do that on a first date. That's one thing I've learned. Here we go. The sweetness of the cola is influenced by the vanilla extractations of the sodium's sugarous. Tastes good. Yeah. You can taste the vanilla. It's like Coca-Cola with some vanilla in it. How's that for a review? I like it though. I wouldn't buy it very much because I mean 42 grams of sugar. Save that for drinking red wine in the evening. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Zoned out there for a second. I'm getting old. Yeah, uh, this is good. I would give it a uh, I don't know, an 8 out of 10. I think I would prefer the original Coke. I want to do the, I want to talk more about Coke in a, in a following video where I hopefully review the new Coke they have out. So that's it. Thank you for watching. <clears throat> Cheers. Stop looking at my cleavage. Jeez.